Hello, my name is teacher Christopher. I am a native English speaker, a lawyer, a former school governor in the UK and a former university lecturer. I have been in Hong Kong for nine years where I have been teaching adults and students alike. I have many years experience teaching public speaking and presentation skills. And I will teach you any verse or reading for the Hong Kong Speech Festival. I will record myself saying the piece in perfect English and then I will send the recording to you. My pronunciation is BBC English and I will show you perfect pronunciation, excellent enunciation and interesting intonation so you can listen time and time again and learn how to give your very best performance whether it is a simple poem, a Shakespearean monologue or sonnet or a reading from Jane Austen or any other piece I can help. Just send a copy of what you will perform and I will quote a price. So write to me at hongkongspeechfestival at gmail.com and look at my website which you can see below. Now today I'm going to do a reading from a Roald Dahl novel called Fantastic Mr Fox which so many children throughout the world absolutely love. Now, for the speech festival, the section from this novel starts where my cursor is. Uh, the small foxes went wild with excitement. I'm going to read the uh, few paragraphs above that. So just wait a moment. Okay. Now, the first paragraph, watch my cursor up here, starts carefully. When I do recordings for you, the first one will be just to say the words in plain English with really good pronunciation and enunciation. And I will do this for the whole piece so that you can practice your English accent. And then I will give you a second recording where I produce perfect pronunciation and enunciation and intonation so it makes it interesting. Okay so as an example let's look at this paragraph which I'm going to say in plain English with no intonation. Carefully Mr Fox began pushing up one of the floorboards. The board creaked most terribly and they all ducked down waiting for something awful to happen. Nothing did. So Mr. Fox pushed up a second board and then very very cautiously he poked his head up through the gap. He let out a shriek of excitement. So you can tell from that that there is nothing interesting or exciting about that particular reading, but you can just repeat the words and make sure that you can say them with a really good English accent. Okay, now I'm going to read a few paragraphs, but with intonation. Carefully, Mr. Fox began pushing up one of the floorboards. The board creaked most terribly, and they all ducked down, waiting for something awful to happen. Nothing did. So Mr. Fox pushed up a second board, and then, very, very cautiously, he poked his head up through the gap. He let out a shriek of excitement. It. I've done it! He pulled himself up through the gap in the floor and started prancing and dancing with joy. Come on up, he sang out. Come up and see where you are, my darlings. What a sight for a hungry fox. Alleluia! Hooray! Hooray! The four small foxes scrambled up out of the tunnel and what a 
fantastic sight it was that now met their eyes. They were in a huge shed, and the whole place was teeming with chickens. There were white chickens and brown chickens and black chickens by the thousand. Boggis's chicken house number one, cried Mr Fox. It's exactly what I was aiming at. I hit it slap in the middle, first time. Isn't that fantastic? And, if I may say so, rather clever. The small foxes went wild with excitement. They started running around in all directions, chasing the stupid chickens. So you can see how different it is when the piece is spoken with intonation. It makes it exciting. It makes it interesting. And if you can say this piece or any other piece with a good English accent and with really interesting intonation, this will go a long way to making you a winner. So if you would like me to do the recordings for you, do please write to me at Hong Kong Speech Festival at gmail.com and please do look at my website.